here's a tutorial on using the various uh, MIDI recording settings uh, in Logic. I'm going to go through some uh, workflow uh, techniques and um, I'll show you some of the various ways that, uh, that, that you can speed up your, uh, your workflow, your MIDI recording uh, techniques in Logic. Before we look at those settings, I want to uh, go to a few uh, important key commands that I'm going to be using. To get to those uh, key commands, you go uh, Logic Pro, Preferences, and then all the way to the bottom, you have key commands. There's a, a shortcut key, the option K will get you this same window here. This is where you can interact with the uh, key commands, uh, make changes, um, write your own, etc. I'll do a whole another tutorial on, on that. But of importance here is uh, the options and presets. Uh, I'm using US in this case. There's a, a few options for us here. US with numeric keypad. There's a Pro Tools uh, compatible one. But uh, US, and by having that selected, if I go and expand uh, the key commands under that uh, parameter, you'll see that under record, R is my shortcut key. All right. So I'm going to be using R. Uh, throughout this lesson. Uh, to get to your recording settings uh, in Logic, uh, it's a setting, so you can go here and go recording and get this window, overlapping recordings. Uh, this is the uh, area that we're going to be working in. You get the same window if you right click on the record button like this and go to recording settings. Same thing. Before we dive into this section, I want to show you one other thing. Uh, regarding the R button. I'm going to right click here again. You've got record, uh, record, record toggle, and record, record, repeat. I use uh, record, record, repeat, and I'll be doing it throughout this lesson. What record does is simply hitting R. Uh, you throw logic into record. Uh, you hit your space bar to stop. Record, record, toggle is uh, good for situations if you're uh, running a session somebody else is playing. Uh, what this will do is uh, Upon hitting R, you'll go into record, and when you hit R again, you go out of record, and the playhead keeps moving. So you can do punches, um, you know, punch on the fly, but things like that. What I love about this, this record, record, repeat, uh, which I'll be using, I'm going to select it here, is you throw logic into record, you can start recording your ideas, and should you uh, just want to start over again, you've made some mistakes, instead of hitting the space bar, deleting the region, uh, starting over again, uh, hitting R will do all that for you. It'll erase the region that you uh, just created um, and give you a clean slate to start with. And that's the way I'm going to be using it here. So once again, I'm going to right click here and go to the record settings. By default, you're always going to be at this merge only in cycle record, which is a real handy setting. But there's four others that we're going to take a look at. Uh, merge only in cycle record. Uh, I'll leave it here uh, right now and just talk about uh, the functionality of that basically it allows you to layer idea on top of idea great for doing drums if you want to layer your drums up that way um, great for doing uh, complicated uh, piano parts uh, where uh, perhaps you uh, play the right hand part on your first pass through and then you put your left hand part in on the second pass so most people are used to that sitting i'll just do a quick beat here and uh, uh, reinforce that i'm going to hit r Okay, uh, so obviously you need to do a bunch of quantizing on this. Double click on the uh, region and it opens up in the uh, piano roll and you can see all of your, uh, all of your hits here. Uh, to quantize this, uh, you probably notice when I hit play here, my first kick doesn't play and that's because it's uh, falling just ahead of uh, bar one, so it's not going to trigger. Uh, so just go through and fix these uh, first. I just hit the C1 key and that highlights all the uh, kicks here. I was playing kind of a 16th note pattern, a little bit more syncopated, so I'll go down here and hit 16ths. That should tighten that up. I was doing the same thing with the uh, shaker pattern, more of a 16th note pattern. And I just hit the Q button here and it's going to do the same thing. The snares are pretty straight on uh, quarter notes, so I'll fix that uh, like that. So this should be uh, a little tighter. So 
So you can see uh, it uh, did not take care of my hi-hat rhythm the way I wanted. Uh, I was swinging it a little more. So I'm going to go up here to some of these uh, uh, swing parameters and start here. They, it goes A through F. It goes in various levels of swing. I'll try to swing it a little more. That's a little more what I had in mind. I'll just try a couple other ones here. E swing. All right, kind of noticing the same thing on the kick drum. Uh, I was doing a little bit more of a swing pattern. Um, and it's mostly these notes that I wanted to swing. So I will uh, just highlight that note itself and say, you know, swing it. Yeah, and that fixes that up. So there's a little bit on using a quantize in the uh, uh, swing feature. So there's an idea. Uh, I'm going to pull this MIDI region over. The reason it extends like that is because I had that first kick note that was um, outside of the uh, beat one, bar one, beat one, division one, tick one. At this point, I want to just reinforce the concept here uh, with a alter beat kits and the EXS24. Uh, you have the ability to do a multi-output uh, instrument. I just have a stereo instance of Alter Beat loaded here. As a matter of fact, it loaded that way because I loaded this as a, um, a channel strip setting up here. If I click and hold on this Alter Beat and, and go down to multi output, okay, at this point now uh, in my mixer, I'll hit X on my keyboard, uh, you'll see that I have a plus sign here. And that tells me that uh, I can create some augs tracks uh, to separate out all of these sounds. Only Ultra Beat in the EXS24 do you have this uh, opportunity. So I'll go plus, plus, plus. I had three sounds uh, happening there. And uh, in this particular uh, beat, I have the uh, main kick. And I'm going to put that out on Ultra Beat 3 and 4. Just click on the main button here. This is your mixer se section of uh, Ultra Beat. So kick out three and four. I have the shaker part here. I'll put that out five and six. And here's my lo-fi snare. We'll do that as seven and eight. You look back over here in our mixer now, and uh, I've got uh, all these uh, elements now on separate faders. 